Spirit, 1-1, one, one. taxi, runway 2-3 right, hold short. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sitting in a, let's see, in a MiG-21 on the Podgorica airbase. And uh, this is not like regular MiG-21, it's the highly modernized version for the Serbian or Yugoslav Air Force, which took some significant upgrades in 1990. Uh, so basically this is the MiG-2193 variant. The upgrade includes uh, uh, some significant changes, like for example, the MiG-21. This MiG-21 received the uh, MiG-29 engine. So basically, it's highly powerful engine for such small frame aircraft. For example. And the uh, second uh, significant change was the upgrade of the radar. So basically, it also includes the radar from the MiG-29. So it should be more powerful with higher performance. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, my opponent will, will be F-15C variant if in this video. He should be taking off from the... Uh, from the uh, Amendola Airbase. So let's go for the takeoff. He's armed with uh, eight, eight Amram C4 variants. I'm armed with uh, four R77s, like the standard, not the modernized, just the standard one which should be slightly slightly worse than the C variant. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, he should be uh, far superior in uh, the radar power, the jammer power also. So I I might be just the just the underdog in this battle. Spirit 1-1, one, one. request clearance for departure. Spirit 1-1, one, one. Pagorica, power, position and hold. Runway 2-3 right. But I will just try not to be the uh, easy prey for him, so we'll do, or, or at least we'll try to do my best. Spirit 1-1, one, one. Pagorica, power, you are cleared for takeoff. Runway 2-3 right, depart heading 275. I'm going to try save as much fuel as possible during the takeoff and the uh, early stages of the climb just to save enough fuel for the for the battle itself just because the MiG-29 is a, a really thirsty aircraft altitude 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 it's using the manual flaps so I need to Use the control F11 or control F12 to uh, to move my flaps. Okay, so let's uh, set up the bingo fuel for should be 5,200 just to drop my external fuel tank. Then it should be empty. Okay, I'm carrying four R R seventy sevens under my wings. I do not have any jammer. It wasn't available for for like uh, to carry it on some pylon, and uh, it's not built in, so <laughs> I might have troubles just to hide from the F-15 but we'll see how this goes okay let's use the time compression soon I might be out of the fuel out of the fuel in my external uh, tank to say it correctly 
Okay, I think the 20... 20,000 feet is uh, okay for Delta Wing aircraft. I simply need more denser air. And as you can see my airspeed currently, I'm, it, I'm in uh, almost 20,000 feet. 19 and a half. Uh, almost 500 knots without using afterburner and my my uh, speedometer says I'm I'm supersonic currently so the MiG-21 is able to fly supersonic <laughs> even without uh, even the ev even without the afterburner so it's a let's say super cruise ability which is for example on the F-22 possible Raptor so it is also on this old MiG-21 if you put a powerful enough engine onto it, it can also super cruise without any problems. The fuel consumption is a little bit higher. It's like on the F-16, but the uh, but the fuel amount you are carrying is uh, significant less. So the durability, or the or sorry, the the endurance of this aircraft is uh, really low. Therefore. I still see some like fuel in my in my external fuel tank. I'm going to wait a little bit longer until I use maybe all these 200 pounds of fuel. Then we'll uh, try to drop the tank. Not yet. Okay, let's go for a little bit time compression. I'm going to increase my radar range to 80, but probably I won't be able to uh, see him at such distance. Just because the radar is not so powerful. Although the F-15 is a pretty big target, so I might be able to see him. But definitely I won't be able to lock him just because he will be using the jammer. So it will be much more difficult to lock him. But anyway, this aircraft looks really like beautiful in uh, in this Falcon. I can see him already at uh, 58, 57 miles. Let's go for the uh, fuel tank. Tank, okay, okay, tank released. Should I switch to the cut one? Okay, it's already cut one. Let's select the R77s. Let's change the fuel for 2000. Fifty miles. I see that there is something, but I'm unable to see the details like the altitude, for example, speed, unable to lock him. Okay, 39. I'm going to switch the radar to 40 miles. I would like to see the lock already. Okay, he's locking me. Okay, I can see him as well. 
is really high so let's increase and I can see he just launched the Amram at me I need to launch at him as well Fox 3 let's put him into the gimbal limit of my radar and let's descend into the denser air his missile should be here very soon basically okay just a couple of seconds and I lost the lock but it might be okay at least I hope so his missile is behind me still and might be able to hit him altitude, altitude. I need to do some evasive actions okay maybe I defeated the missile so let's recommit as fast as possible just to see whether he is still there maybe I can use my wingman Spirit one, sentry one, nearest threat. Oh, oh there is a splash. So he was hit by my uh, R-77 missile. And I survived this battle. So, guys, that's it. As you can see, this aircraft is pretty fast. Like, if you use the afterburner and if you... And if you drag the the missile into the denser air, if you don't stay uh, too high for it, it you definitely can beat beat up the uh, Amram C variant in this old aircraft. So that was a nice fight. And luckily he stayed he stayed committed to me, so my my R seventy seven was able to hit him. Really interesting. It surprised me, it surprised me a lot that I was able to shoot him down. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let's go for the uh, for the debriefing screen just to see the kill or confirmed kill. But I saw this splash. So one hit hit F6 the F15C variant destroyed. He launched two missiles at me, basically. 10, 0, 9, 47, and 59. And they, then I shoot it down. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. As always, have fun, take care, and bye.